I know we're flashing red. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm with my friend Serena today, one of my Hi. best friends. Hi. And we thought we'd do a best friend tag while getting ready. So we're gonna ask questions to one another. Anything we've used, I'll put it in down below. How and when did we meet Serena? Shit, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> we I can't met, about that for we a met at school. Um, funny story, I actually used to be best friends with Lucinda's sister. Yeah, my older sister. Um, obviously like, I knew Lucinda, but I was like best friends cool with her them. <laughs> She was a bit of a renegade master. Um, yeah, we met, I, I don't know, how old were we? It must have I been feel, like, I think I must have been, because I'm older than Lucinda. Um, She's older than her. Lies never tells her age. I must have been <laughs> like 30, 14? 30. 30. <laughs> I yeah, feel like, like 13. So, 14, maybe. Because our middle school, but, is that how we met or was it our... Oh yeah, I suppose middle school. God, so younger then. But then I feel like I didn't know about you that much, but then you used to do ballet with my older sister when you were really young, which I only just kind of realised that. Yeah. Um, but we didn't really speak then. No. So I would say about like 13, school. But when yeah. we became like properly friends is at this stage school that we did together. Yeah. Um, shout out stage cake. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Plug. <laughs> um, Send your kids there if you want to. But I feel like if, great as a... if you and my sister didn't go to that, we probably wouldn't really like know each other. Yeah. Then she stopped going, didn't she? Yeah. So my older sister stopped going and, then... and I'll shout out to you. <laughs> yeah. Because it started off like we did it on Friday. We used to like, your mum used to take us from school. Because we didn't, we used to have something after school. We used to have a club after school. So I remember, yeah. I remember always being like, oh, we've got to leave early or something. Well, me and Annabelle Cause did it, at least. Yeah. I think it was dance. Yeah, I think it might have like, dance, dance after school. Yeah, on a Friday night and it changed, yeah. Yeah. To cut a long story short, when we were at school, about 13, 14, and we got close at Stagecoach, which is a performing arts school. There we go, she said it all very quickly, yeah. as opposed to me. <laughs> <laughs> Cut a long story short. Could have been here for the whole video, guys. <laughs> Just talking about stage <laughs> What's your favourite memory of us together? Oh, this is a hard one. I feel like we've got so many memories together, and they're usually not including other people. <laughs> hard to like remember one memory when it's always just us like if you say to someone oh remember that time with so and so but our funniest memories i feel like are just like us i i think gran canary was a highlight oh my god yeah favorite holiday yeah and while we were there we bought tickets to see tom meesh as well and yeah. so like the whole time we were there we were just listening to tom meesh and like when i listen to his music now it makes me think of that time so like that's really mm. nice god this is so many funny memories also, I know it looks bizarre that I've just put moisturiser on it and then powder, but I'm trying out this. Have you seen on TikTok? I have, yeah, yeah. Everyone says, like, to do it and then put your foundation over the top or something. Yeah, so you do moisturiser powder. I'm really curious about this. I think it's set and spray next. Yeah, set and spray and then primer and then you put your foundation on. We're going to judge this after, see see if this is the way to go. I mean, probably not. I'm probably I mean, you've got better skin than me anyway, so you're going to look pink. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Right, while well, you're doing that, that's not even use the mirror. Oh my god. It's not even set in spray, it's just Mario Bidescu. <laughs> Can we just face <laughs> I keep seeing that though, everyone says that like, it's really nice. What a... Sorry, I, really, I just interrupted your memory. No, it's okay. okay. Oh god, I know one. We went out. <laughs> this isn't even the best memory. I'm laughing, I don't even this know. This is just a funny memory. So we went out for my birthday when I was. God, I don't even know now, but I was at uni at the time and we just went on a night out and I asked for a taxi to come and get us, but a limo showed up basically oh, yeah. because the car company that we went with do own limos. We've done it before when there's been like eight of us, but it was literally just me and her <laughs> going on a night out and we just rolled up. Is that when we went to the Alchemist? Yeah, we rolled up at the Alchemist and like <laughs> in this limo, I think people are like, what the fuck's going on? My other favourite memory of that night was uh, we were sat at the bar and this like really weird like <laughs> 40 plus year old man came to talk to us and Lucinda being like the really nice person that she is was just talking to him. It was just a little bit awkward like he was not giving up basically and then um, we were like oh, I was like, oh I'm gonna go to the toilet and then so we 
we kind of like skirted out that situation, went to the toilet. Uh, uh, uh. Lucinda likes to take a photograph. Um, I do. And went to the toilet and of course she wanted to take a photograph, but she was like, hang on, where's my phone? And then, <laughs> and then she realised that she left her phone, or she, she thinks she's left her phone upstairs by this man. <laughs> And she's like, I swear to God, she's like, if that man's taken my phone, this will be the worst birthday of my life. And I was like, God, this is pressure. So we went back, <laughs> we went back up the stairs, the man had disappeared, like gone. And we were like, well, it's looking likely that he's taken your phone. So we went back to the bar and literally couldn't see it anywhere. And she was like, he's fucking taken my phone. And, <laughs> and then she lifted like the menu up and it was underneath the menu. <laughs> I'll get to be there because I'm just part of this birthday and you think it's the best birthday. <laughs> God, it was so funny though. And then after that, I got given a rose, which was nice. Oh, yeah. Um, and I accidentally. Was that the first time you ever met Patrick? Yeah, this was the first time I met Patrick. Shout out Patrick. And at the time, I, um, I thought his name was Batwig because it was like. The club was really loud when he introduced himself to me and I was like, Batwick, standard name, I'm not going to question it. And then the next <laughs> time when I was telling Serena, oh, do you remember about Batwick last night? And she was like, his name's Patrick. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you bought her a rose and everything and she thought it was called Billy Batwick. In that area, I always meet some interesting people, don't I? Remember yeah. that guy who was really trying to make out that he was into me and then you asked his, do you know what her name is or something? And he was like, you couldn't remember my name? And I was like, yeah, that's it, bye. No, I don't think I asked him. I think he just called you Catherine. <laughs> yes, he called me a different he name. Called, he called you Catherine and you were literally like, oh, I, I can't did. believe he would do that. You were fuming. I love how we're saying this, but I thought someone's name was Batwig. Like, I just- I know, yeah. But to be fair, Patrick, Patrick sorry, Batwig, like it all sounds the same. Yeah, like um, Catherine and Lucinda are pretty Jokes out there. Are. Like if he'd said, oh, Linda or something, I probably <laughs> wouldn't have been as like mad about it. But Catherine, I was fuming. She was like, go away. And all of his friends were like, Serena, um, can you help him out? And his like, friend was really attractive as well. Do you remember him? Yeah. And he was like, oh, Serena, help him out. Like they, they really get on and I can see like a future for them. <laughs> Literally met like once. Literally met like, I don't know, like an hour ago. And then he was like, oh, I can tell he really likes her. Like, he never talks to girls on a night out and all of this. He was really nice and tall as well, wasn't he? Was he was really nice. He, and he had he such a quirky, cool, yeah, quirky, cool fashion sense. But yeah, Lucinda was not having the fact that he called her Catherine. I wasn't. I was over it by it. this point. I have no idea what And then they tried to get us to go back to their hotel room. I was like, yeah, I'm really not into it now. And then we left. And, and then we got our limo back. We didn't have a limo that time. We went back to our beloved... Uh, Indie bar. Yeah. Sai so told you how beautiful you were. Yeah. So I love you. Him and his little trilby cap. Love Sai. So. I feel like this is a hard question. It's, it's not like that hard, but I feel like to think about one word it is. Describe me in one word. Mm. I would say you're like very selfless. That's nice. I like that. That's really sweet. And a lot of time. Put oh. others before yourself. That is really nice. This isn't the best way to describe you, but if it's from like me saying it, I'd say very supportive. And I'd agree, like you, you've always got time for me, like no matter what. Always, babe. Like always. If I was to call you up and I was like sobbing, mm -hmm. you'd change your plans and stuff for me. Oh, 100%. Loving, caring Yeah. is a good way to describe you. I try. But yeah, sorry, that wasn't really uh, a singular word, was it? Let's go with loving, caring, or supportive. One of them. What's my middle name? Victoria Zan. <laughs> it's pronounced Zan, people. <laughs> What's his, uh, Alice? I thought you were gonna let, uh, <laughs> uh, Susan. No, I don't know why it was, it was coming to my head, Reen, and I was like, no, it's Alice. <laughs> yeah, it's Alice. It's because on your, I think it's your email address, you've got Reen, and yeah. I didn't know this. So, Serena, obviously, Reen. But like, that's what your dad used to call you. And my brother. And yeah, I, I knew that more recently. I didn't know that for a long time. And I thought, I thought that was really like a nice little nickname. Because yeah. my mum doesn't have nicknames for us. Like we've got quite long names and she just calls us like Lucinda and about Rebecca. They're quite fancy names. So it's yours actually. Serena. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like compared to my family, like my name's quite out there. Like my, my dad's called Dave. Yeah. My mum's called Helen and my oh. brother's called Dan. Like they're pretty, you know, boxed Helen out Dave, names. Love you. <laughs> Serena's just a bit 
more exotic, isn't it, I suppose. But I used to hate my name when I was younger. Did you? I didn't know that. I absolutely hated it. What, like, if you, when you were younger, what would you want to be, like, called? I just, if I'm honest, I wanted a name that I could have. You know, like, we used to be able to get, like, pencil cases with your name on it. Or yeah. A, or just even a pencil with your name on it. I just wanted I agree a name that. that would have my name on it. A name that would have my name on it. A name that would be on, like, an item. I, I got really happy, you know, when they brought out those Coke bottles. Yeah. And they actually had complicated names on it. I, I found my, my I found one. Serena in Warsaw. I was so I happy was about that Warsaw. Where was I? I was on a walk somewhere, like up a mountain, and they had like a gift shop kind of thing. And that's where I got it. Can you believe that? Like, really? so random, yeah. I remember I went to Bath once with my mum and my auntie to like the markets at Christmas and they had a stocking, like a massive stuff, like sack with Serena on it. Love and that. I was like, mum, we need to get it just because it's got my name on it. Yeah, oh. she was like, mm, you don't really need it, Serena, like you've got a stocking. And then we went back like later on after like I'd convinced her and it was gone. Oh, some uh, other girl uh, that was called Serena really took it. knew the pain. This one I feel like is important. What's my shoe size? <laughs> Five? Yeah. Yours is like a seven. Yeah. It depends though with you, I think. Sometimes yeah. like you're up and down, but mine strictly is like a five. Yeah, to be fair, I usually do just get sevens. Like I'm technically a six and a half, but it's too hard. Like I could probably fit in a four and a half. Yeah. But like you can't get them I'd everywhere. rather just have a and because I'm wide seven, footed, it's yeah. di difficult like to get yeah. a four and a half that actually fits width wise. My feet aren't that wide, but I, yeah, I'd rather have them a bit bigger than smaller, than have bunions. I got this highlighter in um, you know, in like outlet stores. In, yeah. Like, the, co the cosmetics company. Like, like in you... gentle, I always have this one, and it was in the outlet. Oh my god. Was it like fifteen pounds? That's really good. Yeah. I love that one. It's kind it's of got a very bit subtle, of, yeah, subtle glow, which I like. I don't like anything too major. I've got a sp I keep getting a spot on the end of my nose, and it's just oh, I hate it's when I get like, when you get them on your nose. It's they're like, really, it's like a tiny underneath one. as well. I'm not gonna like pop it or anything, but like when I highlight it, it literally just like ping. <laughs> What's our favourite inside joke? <laughs> There's a few. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I feel like it's got to be something to do with your accents. Serena's really good at impersonating other people. More accents than impersonations, yeah. but I try. That's for me. Obviously, I'm not making it sound funny. <laughs> <laughs> You've never done an impersonation of me, and I'd love to know what you would do. God. People that, that I work with, I sometimes do impressions of them. <laughs> I really want you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but like people that I know at work, say that like those are some of my best accents or whatever i do impressions better of people that i know but i think yeah I i'm agree. a bit too worried to do it of you like I, do, I don't want to offend you i feel like you wouldn't offend me i know i probably wouldn't but like i don't want to <laughs> i really want to know how you, what you I do i don't want to do like would you try to reflect like my I voice i feel like i did one once I yeah feel like you probably did yeah. you used to say something all the time and i can't remember what it was was it like like or something like, oh, that's terrible no. Oh, I want to know now really bad. You used to, I swear it was like in the summer, like you used to say something all of the time. Like a phrase Oh god, it's something like that. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, that was good. It was something like that, I can't remember what it was though, but it wasn't oh god, it, you did that, but you said something else, like. Seriously, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh my god, you got here. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. Kidding, that was it. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> she used to do it all the time. But uh, I'll work on it and get back to you. <laughs> okay, get back to me. I don't know why I keep blending this like it's still gonna make a difference. I know, yeah, I put on my highlight for about four hours. What? I feel like we haven't really answered the question. No, I feel like I haven't. Um, what was the question? <laughs> what was our favourite in <laughs> The H&M Easy Iron. <laughs> Love said, Love said. <laughs> Oh, this one's a good one because I, I know you well. So it says, if if I was ordering pizza, what toppings would I order? But like, that's not the most important part. So Serena really likes, <laughs> instead of tomato sauce, it's a barbecue sauce on her pizza. Yeah. And always. we learnt that when we went to Dublin. Was it in Dublin? Yeah, I think it, was. it was in Dublin. We were in a taxi. So this is what she said. We were going to get pizza after we'd been out in Dublin. And I was like, oh God, I'm really hungry. I can't wait to eat this. And then she, I said, what do you want? We'll share it. And she was like, honestly, like you can pick anything and I'll eat it. That's so me. <laughs> he was like, 
yeah look pick anything i'll eat it i typically just like a margarita with a barbecue base she's like um are you sure you want barbecue as the base <laughs> i was like yes lucinda like i'm sure that i want barbecue as the base like it's literally the only pizza i ever eat and then she was like okay um and she just she was like stop and then she every like minute or so she'd go are you sure you like definitely barbecue do you want any toppings and i was like no i was like lucinda you said i could order whatever i wanted i just remember being really drunk at this point just eat it are you sure you want barbecue <laughs> yes i want barbecue lucinda like we don't have arguments do we really no we don't we don't like we just laugh about it like we get a little bit annoyed sometimes then we just kind of get over it yeah so then she tried it and she's like oh actually yeah it's really, yeah. really nice i remember being like oh this is the best pizza i'm like i was drunk as that i was like oh my god this is so tasty so you did change my life on that like yeah i, I do actually really like barbecue pizza now i don't actually really know if i'm honest what you'd have on a pizza does I that make like me a bad friend it doesn't make you a bad friend because i feel like i haven't actually really had that much pizza with you like when I was at uni, I used to always have veggie. I was, pizza. Like, I, would say, I would have said veggie or like o like olives. Or yeah, something. something like that. Like I like. It's not that I don't like meat, but I would prefer like a plate full of vegetables and like, a, like you imagine just like a chicken on your plate. <laughs> I prefer fruit. Oh fruit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh fruit. That's <laughs> quite slug brows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know the answer to this, but I feel like it would be nice to talk through it. What's favourite movie of all time? I actually think that we've got a favourite movie together. If it's like a chick flick, then The Devil Wears Prada. Prada, 100%. I've obviously got more like, filmy films in the sense that, like, storyline and, like, other films that I would probably put before that, but it's either a chick flick, that's my favourite chick flick. And I quite like, like, cr I like crimey things, but... Like a psychological thing. Yeah, yeah but... Like I absolutely love for an easy watch We're the Millers. No, and I was devastated. <laughs> and I was devastated when they took it off Netflix. Like if I'd been on a night out and the next day like I was, you know, like recovering, I would watch We're the Millers all the time. Yeah. And now I can't do it and it's really sad. I did really enjoy that the first time I watched that. Yeah. I also love that I hangover because I low key wanna marry Zach Galifianakis. Oh my god, I haven't watched that in ages. Is that how you pronounce his name? Yeah. How's that hangover? Zach Galifianakis. Zach Galifianakis. Yeah. Zach Galifianakis. That's really interesting now. I think he's really sweet. I know. I'd love him as a husband. I, what's that film that he's in and he's like in a mental institute? I love that. Um, he, I love his character in that. I know the one you mean. Oh, what's it called? We'll get back to you. We'll put it up here. But my other, my other favourite film of all time is Prisoners. I love that film. God, yeah, honestly, every time I watch that film, I'm like, why no, why? I know. Gone Girl, great film. Love that. Um, Quiet Place, great film. Yeah. Short Time Redemption, old classic. 12 Years a Slave. Um, it's a tearjerker. I don't really cry at films, but I cry at The Dark Knight. <laughs> yeah. The New Joker. Candy. I really enjoyed The New Joker. I enjoyed that. What else? I like Wes Anderson films. My favourite childhood film, like the one that reminds me of my mum the most, is um, Calamity Jane. I don't think I've ever watched that. Oh my god, it's so good. I have to watch Day. That. It's like an old fashioned film, isn't it? Yeah. It's a musical, you'd like it. I actually have to give that a watch. Like, I love Audrey Hep film, uh, ugh. <laughs> Audrey Hepburn films, like yeah. Black and White, kind of Sabrina and all that. Yeah. So I feel like I probably would like that. You need to watch Funny Face as well, I've got that on vinyl. It's got Fred Astaire with it. What's one food that you could not live without or, and that, or that I could not live without? Sushi. I <laughs> yeah. Um, Which sushi though? California spring rolls. Mm. I think... <laughs> I thought we were just talking for the both of us. Like, give each other a clue about what kind of destination. Like the cuisine? <laughs> yeah. So mine is Italian. Really okay. Spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. Mine is Mexican. Well, technically, the one that I have is Caribbean. Ooh, then it's definitely like a chili. Yeah, the yeah. chili that I make with Yeah, I love that. She makes this chili with apricots, it's so good. I do like seafood, like I like salmon and squid and stuff. Like, I'd prefer to eat that over meat, I think. Yeah. But I'd like, you know, like a, a, um, a mammal. Is that what I like, call it? I don't know what you're going to call it. A chicken's not because, a mammal. But if you, <laughs> it's a bird. But you know, like, 
like the seafood and then there's like do you class seafood as meat or is meat yeah because it's an animal so i can't be like i prefer seafood you could be a pescatarian yeah i used to be a pescatarian oh day is that friend of hers really do you have a lucky number yeah i think yours is an odd number congratulations i think it's something like 13. no nine no <laughs> <laughs> Friendship over. <laughs> Seven. No. Is it like a big number? Define big. How many? Like, is it over 20? No. Is it over 10? Yeah. 19? No. 13? No. Oh, I said that. <laughs> 11? No. 15? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. That. I, I don't know why, but I thought, because mine was five, that yours would be not five at the end. I'm making no sense here. What's my favourite clothing brand? Charity Shop. <laughs> True. Um, mm, that is a hard one. Should we go like High Street? Yeah. Well, okay. I wouldn't know who to pick if it was designer. I think like we probably, when we were younger, we would have said Topshop. But I feel like, I would say ASOS, but ASOS is a cop out because you can buy so much from there, but we typically do buy from there. But I would say maybe Sarah or H&M. Yeah, Sarah. I was actually my mum was top shop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, Just but I feel like I like. I feel like they've got like a like a large range. Yeah, they've got a large range, and there's a bit of like loads of different styles in there. I think it's interesting there because I feel like we we've started buying a bit more from them now, but we did loads when we we were younger, and then we kind of there was a, a point where we really didn't like them. I do remember that. I would have said Zara for you as well. Yeah. Maybe like mango. Yeah. Although, Although I don't we never really buy anything. From we don't, mango. we don't. And I'll tell you what, because I feel like if there's something that I see someone wearing from mango, I'm in love with it. But actually shopping there is so difficult. Yeah. Like I don't I like in in the actual store can't do it. They don't have many sizes, I no. think. No. And then online it's just such a like an ache to do it. I don't really like going online unless it's like something like ASOS which is really easy to to use because you know that you'll find loads of brands on there and that's what I like about it yeah like online I would say I really like ASOS but I, I also really like Nasty Girl always got like they've always got literally like 50% off which is great yeah I love that which, which makes me beg the question is is it actually 50% off or is that their like ploy oh it's 100% a marketing ploy yeah. it's very clever it's very clever because it and it's still very cheap yeah I feel really wary about shopping from them and I don't know why. I think it's because some of the clothes are so cheap that it makes you think, oh, is the quality good? But I know you've bought from there, haven't you? Yeah. Like, to be fair, I've done, like, big orders with them and haven't really kept much of it. <laughs> it says, who gets in trouble the most at school? <laughs> I mean, we're not at school anymore, but yeah. <laughs> I just really want to say that. I was never in trouble at school. <laughs> Got kicked out of class all the time. <laughs> I got sent it was because I was like comedy clown. I got sent out of like class once, and I was literally mortified. And it's because somebody like actually threw a glue stick at me, <laughs> and, I, and I like I was like, "What are you doing?" And I went to throw it back at them, and it was my art teacher, Miss Ruby, and she was like, "Get out now!" I had to stand. It was in middle school. I had to stand outside the um, the art room, and as I was stood there, like she came out to like let me back in. And then the head teacher walked past and she was like, oh, Mrs. Riley, just in time. Oh, this one thinks it's okay to talk while I am and throw glue sticks. And I was like, it wasn't me, I'm sorry. And then I hated Miss Ruby from then on. Like, yeah, she how was... dare she? Oh, this one's a good one. What is your dream car? I think, I don't know this about you, but I feel like you know this about me. Gosh, I don't think I do. Is it what? a Range Rover? Close. Land Close. Rover? Close. A Jeep? Jeep. I've got a VW Polo, but my ideal dream car for the moment is an Audi A1. It's all about the speed for me, like I just, I love a quick... You have to tell them about the story about your new car and the turbo engine. It's got a turbo engine, it's great. And like there's a hill where, by near where we live called Hagley Hill and I just literally fly up it now. It's great. When I used to go up it, I used to lose speed and basically be going backwards, whereas now, gaining speed, great. And when the guy tried to sell it to you, he was like, I'm not really sure you need this. I know, yeah. He's like, I don't think you'll really notice the difference. And I was like, I 100% will. You don't know me. You're at your friend's favourite fast food restaurant. What is it and what do they order? 
Mm, cut on. Yours is McDonald's. <laughs> Do you think? Yeah. Is it not? Wait, we're talking fast food, yeah, forget it, yeah, fast food, yeah. Did you think I just meant normal restaurant? Yeah, and I was a bit like, <laughs> is it? Yeah, yeah. I, like, I don't think that's my favourite restaurant. No, favourite fast food is 100% McDonald's. Yeah, it and is. you order a double cheeseburger. I don't know if you'll have medium or large chips. I'm say medium. And maybe some mozzarella dippers. Mm -hmm. And a Sprite. You used to be a Sprite, but I, like... like Oh, wait, no, Oasis. 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 Because I've gone off like fizzy drinks and stuff. But I've really got into recently. You, you did well, by the way. I've really got into the chicken sandwich thing. The much chicken sandwich? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'd order. I alternate or I have the internal struggle between the much chicken sandwich or a cheeseburger. Chicken nuggets, I could just put them in the oven mm. kind of thing. Like if I'm craving them. Not that I do, but <laughs> I could. <laughs> what I'm really craving right now. The mac is. No, no, you said it though. I really, really want to pita lounges, bacon and egg pancakes. I don't think I've ever had that. Oh my God, they're so is it like good. an all like the day day round all day, day, yeah. Should we shall we? Should we? Oh yes. I was hoping she'd say that. I knew you were when you when you hinted it, I was like, she wants to go. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Who's the better cook? I've never really, well I've cooked for you, you've never cooked for me. I've really. never cooked for Serena, no. I think you so, made me porridge once when I said... Did I? <laughs> I'm surprised I even made you that. You made me porridge once when I said if you're at uni. I would say for the purpose of the fact that she's actually cooked for me, we'll go with Serena. <laughs> yeah. Because you're like, Lucinda's always done these like different eating things, like she didn't eat gluten and then yeah. she was a vegetarian and... Yeah, so I feel like maybe that's why you never cooked for me. Yeah. You always just come to my house, though, don't you? Yeah. We go out. Maybe, maybe that'll be thing. We'll do a video where I'm going to cook for you and okay. we, we taste test it and you tell okay. me it's good. Because I do like interesting food, though. We do experiment with food, I think. Try. I'll make, oh my God, I should make you. I like to just chick, whack loads of, yeah. shit, loads of crap together, like chickpea. Curry. It's curry. and it's got Chipsy sweet potato curry. in it. I make a vegan sweet potato curry. Well, really we're nice. gonna do this. It's got then. freezer actually. If you we're gonna do it. this. This will be fun. Who reads the most books? I guess this depends. Do you read a lot for teaching? I read every day at work. Well then, yeah, she reads more. <laughs> I mean, they're children's books, but I read every day. Yeah. I read. I read a lot when I was at uni, obviously for my course, and then I do. Re I like fantasy kind of books. Mm. What subject am I terrible at? Hmm. Well, you probably wouldn't say it, but you're, I think you're good at maths. And that wasn't the question. Oh, what was it? <laughs> what, was it? what was the question? <laughs> what subject am I terrible at? Uh, at school, you're like, well, I think you're good at maths. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I think you maybe too, maybe yeah. science. I actually got an A at GCSE in science. Well, I didn't. I would have said that I was really bad at science, though. I had to retake every single one of my exams. No way. Like I was, because we did it in modules and I was in set one, don't know how, but I was in set one and I got a C so I passed in like my modules but my teachers were like, oh well that's not good enough. So. Really? No way. Yeah, so I had to retake them all and I got an A in the end and I don't really know how. Because we had two different, we had like a foundation in the upper and I was in the upper but when I got a C, I was like, well I got a C in the upper so I can't bother to do it again. Mm. But I think I was only like one off a B and it really annoyed me but then I was like, well I'm not really going to do anything with science. Which I probably shouldn't have thought like that, mm. to be honest. I did actually really enjoy science. I didn't like physics, I like but I really liked chemistry. I don't um, really like any of it. Actually, what? biology was a bit complicated as well yeah. for me. Like mitosis and all that. I also, I liked history, but I wouldn't say I was really good at it. I never much. listened in my history, history classes. Yeah. Like, I teach, I have to teach history now, like, to six-year-olds. Oh, God, that's so hard. And I have to, like, Google some of the things. Like, I'm literally sometimes talking, like, I don't really know what I'm talking about here. I probably find that admit, so difficult. Admit this, maybe edit this bit out, but... Um, <laughs> I feel like it's going to be fine. <laughs> probably get fired from my job. <laughs> so we, we watched that YouTube video. You yeah, know it's like in history. Talking about me teaching history. <laughs> to watch you. I would have said science but only because we weren't in the same year group and if I'm going off like science isn't that much in your life as opposed to everything else but technically that doesn't mean that you're bad at it. What do you think mine was? Everything. No. I was actually quite an intelligent person I just didn't apply myself. I would say maybe geography. 
Yeah, that's a good one actually. I don't though. think your like knowledge of places is it like that. No, I'm good. Oh god, no. I mean, to be fair, like I'm. Oh, I'm bad. so bad at saying where things are. I'm really good at navigating, and I would say I did learn quite a bit about like the earth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did learn quite a bit about the earth. Because I, I, I would say, like, I did, like, I was in like the environment committee and stuff when I was younger and stuff. Like, I care about Were those you? things. Yeah. At school. Yeah. We were in the environment. Committee. And we did it off more as well. Who was the teacher? I don't remember that far back. It's so weird to think about. Like when I was in first school, I was actually really smart. <laughs> I actually was a part of a lot of like clubs and stuff and. Then it got to about second half of middle school and upper school and I just kind of maybe got into the wrong crowd kind of thing mm -hmm. and like just started to care a lot less about things because of like personal stuff that was going on in my life and then I feel like it didn't actually stop me from getting good grades though it just it, the way that I was in lessons and stuff like I could have done better yeah so I would say geography you're probably right about that in terms of like countries and stuff I, I find that I difficult I know you were in the eco committee there yeah fucked up there sorry <laughs> <laughs> like we're very arty people we're, we're good at art and stuff like that yeah like I tried I'm more better at like making things I would say rather than or if I draw, I have to copy a picture. Like, I wouldn't... If you said to me, like, draw a tree, like, I'd literally draw yeah. an elementary, like... Like, it would be all very, like... like broccoli, basically. <laughs> yeah. Or we'd do something very, like, abstract. I'd flick some green and brown paint, but like, there you go. There we go, that's done. Um... How long was the longest Snapchat streak long? As if that's even a question. I don't have Snapchat. Neither do I. Do I collect anything? And if I do, what is it? Collect? Oh, I feel like we had a conversation a bit about this not that long ago. Do you remember what I said to you? If we had this conversation, I can't remember. It was when I was younger. I don't know if it was me. Maybe it wasn't you then. Um, have you told me about this? Probably. Is it something kind of like unexpected? I don't want to get this wrong. <laughs> I'm getting like paranoid. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if you're being unexpected. What clothes as well? <laughs> Done! You want to tell you? Yeah, go on. I collect 50p's. Oh, I fucked it up there. You did tell me about that the other day. <laughs> yeah, we got the Brexit one the other day. Swiped that. I wonder how much you can sell these for if you did. Mate, loads. The Brexit one's £95 to buy. It's over there. Don't, don't, I know if you've taken it. Like you could actually become so like rich if you carried on doing this. No, got all of the Olympic ones. Padding, oh, I didn't know it was so much. Paddington, they're called Peter Rabbit ones. Love those ones. Yeah. I see them at work quite a lot. Oh, uh, will you take them if you do? Yeah. I just have to put another fifty. Well, yeah, obviously I'm not saying steal. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do. She was saying. I, I used to do that when I worked in retail. Like if I saw a fifty p that was a cool one, I used to just swap. What ones haven't you got? I think I'm missing some of the Peter Rabbit ones, but I can't remember which ones. You'll have to like send me photos of the ones. I'll get the you list. Need. I'll get the list up and tell you. Do you have that app? Where? Oh my god, there's an app for it. I'm yeah, Google one. it. Someone at work's got it. I didn't have one of the Olympic ones, and my mum bought it me for my birthday. <laughs> Oh, very rare Peter Rabbit 50p coin, £4,999. Oh my god, is this a joke? Look. Oh, it's a reader. <laughs> You could be like a millionaire right now. What the hell? I don't goodness. collect anything anymore, but like I used to, do you know what I used to collect? It's something really geeky. Pokemon cards. No, I used to those. my sister used to collect them, but mine's like and crazy worse than that. Yu Gi Oh cards? No, it's not like cards. No. Uh, give me a clue. I want to get it. Something to do with like sending. Sending? Like in the mail. Postcards! No. Stamps. Stamps. Did you? So geeky, I know. You've never told me that. It was quite nice. Quite. What was I? What did you do? Just like rip them off the piece of paper? Like, or did you go, go to the shop and buy I, them? I, I wish I knew what it was because it was such a long time ago. But I just remember I, kept, I had like a, like a stamp folder, and I think maybe wow. I like if someone had sent me something, I used to keep the stamps if they were like interesting stuff. Because sometimes my cousins buy me send me cards and they'll have some like cool stamp like a David Bowie stamp or something like that. Mm. Well, not sure next Christmas present sorted. Just get stamps. Me stamps. Stamp book. God that was such a long time ago though so I don't when you ask that question about like where did I get them from I don't actually know. Because my mum sometimes because if they haven't been stamped 
because they put like the mark over them sometimes don't they yeah and you can't use them again but my mum if they haven't been like stamped or anything she rips them off she like rips the paper around on the envelope and cuts oh, them out and then sticks so that's if she has to, so clever if she has to send something she she uses that stamp for free that's so clever because unless they stamp it like frank it i think it's called it's it's still valid oh my god i'm so gonna do that i didn't even think about that guys this is how you can save money on stamps what? I just wanna know, like, would you, you let me see beneath your beautiful, would you let me see beneath your perfect, take it off now boy, take it off now boy, I wanna see inside, would you let me see beneath your beautiful tonight. Beautiful. Ooh. Nice rendition, Serena. And just like that. Just we're like that, we're, we're ready. Just like, we're ready for the rainy we're day. Done. So, thank you for watching this video with me and my best friend Serena. And my best friend Lucinda. Everybody subscribe. I doubt anyone's going to be watching this for a while, but you know, in the years <laughs> to come, when I look a, back, when I'm a big hit, you'll look back at it. <laughs> I look back at this and think, oh, that's when it all started. <laughs> Before I the madness that. began. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this was this was fun today. Um, getting to meet another one of my friends. Don't even kiss me there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. This is the the look at every day. Would you say yours is every day? No, I don't ever wear foundation. I mean, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I probably wouldn't have gone this like ham. But if I was going like a day, like, if I, and I wanted yeah. to look nice, then I'd go. If for I was this. going like, out somewhere. Like for drinks, I would probably yeah. do this, and um, I would probably do a similar thing to this and put like some eyelashes on. Yeah, I'd maybe put like a bit of, more eyeshadow yeah. on. Yeah, but if we were going out, yeah, but like typically, I mean, I don't really wear that much makeup anymore. No, like, I just, only just wear concealer really and like a bit of bronzer. Exactly. Yeah. We don't need that makeup yeah, to be mask honest. and wing. So yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah. Love you. Yep. Subscribe. Hit that bell alert so you know. When a video is next, come in, like, <laughs> write a comment so I know what you guys like to see. Hit her up. Do hit, it. Hit me she's up. Gonna be, she's going to be big. <laughs>